oldguytalks.com is all about being a better man. Join me on this kick-ass journey. Exclusive stuff for members only in the Old Guy Cave. Opt in now. Don't do it, Mr. President. President Trump, don't do it. Do not. I hope you don't go in there and uh, uh, basically be uh, interviewed, deposed by Robert Mueller and the Democratic death squad that he has uh, assembled. Because not unlike the Hillary interview regarding the emails, which had a predetermined outcome that they were not going to charge her with any crimes. That's why they didn't have any recording. She was never under oath and there were so many immunity deals given. Folks, that's right. There is a predetermined outcome here. And that outcome is that no matter what the president says, no matter what the president says, they are going to charge obstruction of justice, folks. Uh, yes, uh, these people, this group of lawyers, former Hillary Clinton donors, uh, have a predetermined outcome here, regardless of what is said in the deposition uh, at that time. And so, Mr. President, I urge you, urge you not to go in there live. Let it be done by by your lawyers in a written form, which is appropriate, and we'll get the questions answered. Uh, this is a bad deal. This is a bad deal. Uh, this is called a coup in a third world country. Now, most coups in uh, third world countries are military coups, which will never happen here. But this is a legal coup. This is a legal coup that is being attempted. And as we are finding out more information about these texts between the FBI agent and his lover, who is also a lawyer in the Justice Department, we're going to be finding out that this has tentacles way up into the FBI and into the Justice Department. And what they were planning was a legal coup against you and against the American people because we did elect you. We did elect you and uh, they were planning on doing this. Uh, so please do not go in there and testify because regardless of what you say, and I know that there is no Russian collusion, they will attempt, not attempt, they will actually say that you obstructed justice with Comey uh, because we know that he has been a liar on several occasions. Uh, and Mr. Mueller is not to be trusted as well as the rest of his uh, Democratic Hillary supporting uh, death squad, the Democratic death squad, and they're after you and they're going to try to bring you down. So now let's talk about the immigration deal. Holy moly, Nancy Pelosi. Uh, I, it's pretty interesting here. Uh, dear old Nancy, uh, you know, she's uh, talking about uh, the fact that if we have a merit-based immigration system, well, it's going to be whites only. Well, Nancy, that's pretty racist on your part. It's very racist. So you're assuming, you are assuming that just because it's going to be merit-based, that no Hispanics, no blacks, no people from... Uh, the Middle East, no people from India, China, or other countries are going to be able to immigrate? Are you just saying that they're all stupid because they're minorities? I think that's what you're saying. Because there are plenty of immigrants, potential immigrants from these countries, from these areas, from these ethnicities that can qualify on a merit-based system. So what are you saying, Nancy? I think you should uh, reevaluate what you're saying. So, uh, you know, I, you know, I'm having a hard time, uh, personally, you know, I think that uh, the pathway to citizenship for DACA is not the right answer. At the same time, that may be the price we have to pay for getting the wall and getting a comprehensive immigration system that makes sense. And if that's the case, if we can bundle it up in one big package that makes sense and none of it is like deferred, like the wall is not deferred, all of that, da 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 da, like has been done in the past. Uh, we all remember, or not we all, I remember, uh, Simpson Mazzoli and uh, how that was supposed to end all these immigration problems, and it did not because many of the measures were never enacted that should have been enacted. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this, but please, Mr. President, do not, do not, do not go in and have a face-to-face -face meeting with Robert Mueller and the Democratic Death Squad that he has assembled. This is Orsi Old Guy from www.oldguytalks.com signing off. And remember, create a kick-ass life if you have not already opted in. What are you waiting for? I got three ways for you, for you to get laid more. 
more often without begging. That's right, you don't have to turn in your man card. And it's easy stuff to do, easy stuff to do that you can implement right away, right away. Take care, until later. Opt in and encourage other old guy assholes like you to opt in also.